One of Paris's largest migrant camps, located in a tunnel in the 12th arrondissement, was evacuated on March 20th. 150 migrants, mainly unaccompanied minors, had been living there for five months. The Paris Préfecture justified the eviction by saying that the tents were obstructing traffic and that their occupants could be trapped if the sun floods. But for several local organizations, this evacuation has another purpose, the social cleansing of the city before the Olympic Games this summer. The camp was at 50 meters from the Quai de Seine, so you have to imagine that it will be the opening of the Jeux Olympiques and Paralympiques. Euh, on a du mal à imaginer comment, en effet, il laisserait euh, un campement de ce type-là. L'idée, c'est de cacher cette misère-là euh, pour être en mesure de, de faire briller euh, la France pendant ces Jeux Olympiques. According to these organizations, these operations are intensifying ahead of the Olympics. Several other camps have been evacuated in Paris over the past months. To rehouse those evacuated, the authorities have promised 200 accommodation places, but this is far from enough. C'est une blague. On parle de 3600 personnes à la rue. Avant, sur les évacuations, c'est vrai qu'on avait l'habitude que la préfecture organise une mise à l'abri, c'est-à-dire propose des solutions d'hébergement. En revanche, depuis quatre mois, ce qu'on voit, c'est qu'aucune solution n'est proposée. In one year, the number of homeless people in Paris has risen by 16%. This critical situation has been made worse by the closure of several hotels previously used by the SAMU Social, a municipal emergency service that helps the homeless. These hotels are carrying out renovations and plan to return to standard business to accommodate visitors during the Olympic Games.